Arizona still seeing a record number of illegal border crossings. Now they're sending the issue to Washington, D.C. Good evening. I'm Vince Barra. Our very own Luis Lopez joins us in studio with two Yuma County supervisors with differing viewpoints on this issue. Vince, good evening. Similar to Texas, the state is now taking buses of immigrants from Yuma to our nation's capital. Arizona says it's their way of letting D.C. deal with the border crisis, but others believe it's nothing more than a political statement. Uh, what we need is to focus a lot of this energy and a lot of this money into actually dealing with the problem. Tony Reyes on the new Arizona program launched this week. State Communications Director C.J. Margin confirming the program with us. We obtained pictures and videos of the buses over the past couple days from a verified source. The first bus departed from Yuma Monday with 20 migrants on board, arriving Wednesday in Washington, D.C. Another bus departed Wednesday with 40 migrants on board. The immigrants getting on are doing so voluntarily, and those who have sponsors on the East Coast are taking advantage. Yuma County Supervisor Jonathan Lines is in favor of the new program, saying it's giving local resources a needed break. Yuma and our community isn't necessarily equipped to handle this type of a load. Line says this overflow impacts medical services, the 911 dispatch center, and other local charities struggling to keep up. You know, currently we're looking at over a thousand people a day coming into the community. Um, and if we didn't get them out of the community or out of Arizona someplace else, it would be something that we would be responsible for taking care of. However, Yuma County Board of Supervisors Chairman Tony Reyes doesn't see the benefit, as he believes it's more of a message to Washington rather than an actual solution. All we're doing is spending more money on a problem we call federal problem. So we make a point that is disgusting us a lot, and then we're spending the state's money and sending people to make a point that, you know, you're not taking them. Well, that is the dumbest thing I've heard so far about solving this kind of problem. Kara Margin also told us earlier the message the state wants to put out is, quote, Yuma, we hear you, end quote. They feel the bus is a step in the right direction for helping the community. The people of Arizona, the people of Yuma are doing the job that the federal government should be doing. Meanwhile, illegal crossing numbers remain high, with over 150,000 immigrants processed since last October, with most in the Yuma sector allowed to stay in our country under Title VIII and able to seek asylum. Reporting in studio, Luis Lopez, 13 on your side.